Hey guys, it is Jim. So look, I'm excited because the gentleman across from me is the very talented Mr. Jeff Kamek. He is the scenic designer extraordinaire on Elf, but he has been on all sorts of different shows with us. Like, can you, how many different shows have you done with us now? Uh, as a designer, uh, I co-designed Les Mis for you guys. Christmas Story, I'm gonna forget these. Uh, Les Mis Christmas Story, Little Mermaid, Sweeney Todd, Elf, and then Once. And in fact, uh, we literally just came out of a mm -hmm. elf, I mean, came out of a once meeting yeah. about, we can't go into what's going to take place, but uh, I got to see the design of the stage and all those kind of things, mm -hmm. so, which brings up my very first point is, you know, whether it's elf or whether it's once, how far out do you even begin the design of these kind of things? That's a good question. So we, we start designing probably seven to eight months uh, prior to the, the opening of the show. So uh, for Elf, we designed, we started designing in like May, June, um, and that's design conversations with the director, um, producer, artistic director, the whole design team. And let me stop you there for a second. Yeah. So, you know, for Elf, you got in and you and Amber get together. Mm -hmm. What's the conversation like when you guys are in that room that mm -hmm. gives you kind of the vision of, of mm -hmm. where you're going to go? Yeah, I mean, the, the, we start off with broad strokes like how how do we want this show to flow how do we see the show working um, what is the artistic gesture of the show and it and from from taking those broad strokes we then meet with her individually and as smaller groups to sort of iron out the the details of that that vision for the show and that's what happens over the course of the nine or six to seven months is uh, is just hours and hours of conversation I mean we talked for, for the longest I've ever talked about any show for Little Mermaid, hmm. in terms of like just details of how we're gonna fly all the jellyfish. Jellyfish, uh, right. How the puppets are gonna work, how the puppets get on stage, and how, um, you know, how the space looks and things like that. Hours and hours of conversation. And Elf was similar. It's just there are so many details of how, how the elves get on stage, what kind of elves there are. Um, <clears throat> how we get from Christmas Town to New York City in a second. And so let's like talk that. about yeah. that too. Like when I, I would think, from you know a civilian's perspective, you've got seventeen right different basically mm -hmm. locations, yeah. mm -hmm. and then major changes from you know Christmas Town to yeah. New York City to offices mm -hmm. to all those kind of yeah, things. Yeah. So when you were looking at that, first of all, does it seem like, how do I do this? It's a daunting task. It is. And then is, yeah. what was the inspiration of what you did? Because it came out magnificent. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. So yeah, it was, it was sort of like staring down the barrel you know, of the show at the beginning of 17 locations and what each of those locations is, because a lot of them are full stage pictures. Most, almost all of them are. Right. Um, and so the question was, how do we seamlessly transition from from location to location and keep the pace of the show going because the show is it's a comedy it's all about pacing and we don't have the time to slow that down by flying in a whole new set or tracking in a whole new piece of scenery or rotating the set around and so how can we seamlessly create an entire new atmosphere on the stage and so what we really came came up with was using um joe the uh, joe uh oh god it's embarrassing. Hopefully, we'll, hopefully we'll keep this in there. The projection. Joe. No, who? Joe Burke. Joe, Joe Burke. Burke, the projection designer. Uh, so what we came up with was using Joe Burke, the projection designer, uh, with, with him to create an atmosphere that was literally the whole stage. That every element of the stage could be changed completely with projections. That. Um, you know, that, that it's a blank canvas, basically, for him to, to play with. And he really did carry this Herculean effort of, of figuring out the specifics of how we get from Christmastown to traveling to, to New York City, to New York City, to the office in New York City, to Macy's in New York City, you know. And, and it really was, a, it was conversations between him and Amber Mack, the director, and myself on how we can best make that that sh the show just flow through those locations. And it sounds like maybe more than any other designer that has to look at that, you literally have to take every single aspect of what's taking place on stage mm -hmm. in consideration. Because like you said, you know, you got dance numbers, entrances, exits, mm -hmm. what flies in, yep. all those kind of things. Yeah. It's, it's always a jam-packed environment, and it's how you can reuse, creatively use every inch of real estate to tell that story. 
and uh, in this case it was flying elements and not only that but projection angles for the projectors and lights for light uh, beam angles and where you know units for Macy's are coming on and uh, things like that it's 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 all of those pieces working together and beyond that even just where you know the wardrobe changes are happening I mean backstage environments are chaotic right. and just it is every square inch of that backstage space is utilized for changes for scenery storage for running motors for the scenery to things you know to running the fly loft it is it is an intense atmosphere back there you know when you get done i get to see uh the models that you, mm -hmm. you do to show it but uh at what point are you the person who actually does the renderings and then hands them off to Jason Fisker, yeah, yeah. that's our technical director, to mm -hmm. build it, or how's that process work? Yeah, so so once the director, in this case Amber Mack and I, we, we get through the design phase and we sort of come up with the initial idea. Uh, I produce the, the models, the renderings, the drawings, things like that, to communicate that idea to the shop. And then Jason Picture takes that over and he then budgets that out and, and budgets his crew's time out at the shop to as to how to execute that best. Um, and in this one, there was some back and forth and communication on that and how best to achieve the look. And ultimately, we ended up in a great place. And uh, it's all all his and his crew's time just sort of figuring out how to get every square inch of that set on that stage. And do you ever come to the build space, see how it's going? Or is it when they start doing the move-in? Yeah, so, so I'll do shop visits throughout the process and check in with painters, check in with uh, Jason and, and Kelly, uh, who's the ATD in the shop. Uh, that, that just checking in with them to see how the process is going, if they have questions, um, if, if something needs to change due to aesthetic reasons or um, blocking reasons, things like that. That's sort of what the, that process uh, is like. Cool. Yeah. Well, look, we're going to take a little break, and then we're going to come back. So stay tuned. More coming with the uh, very talented Mr. Jeff, the, uh, the scenic designer for Elf and all sorts of other things with us here at uh, Paramount.